Conscious thinkers, welcome back to the God Vibration. Let's tap in. You know, we like to tap in with the tarot first before we head anywhere else. Four of Cups. Why do I feel like this is what it started with last time? You know what this feels like? This feels like people who have been waiting trial and like that's what the energy is within these readings it's like cases that have been waiting to um go to trial and yeah i hope that's not what this is three of wands That's what this is. Again, this person was waiting. They were awaiting their court date. Okay. All right, so let's step into the energy. <sighs> Two of Pentacles. This seems like this was something to do with petty theft. Someone was caught. Someone was caught red-handed. Page of Cups. This was petty theft. We could even... Yeah, y'all could deal with those other cases. Ace of Swords. So what about this? Who was this person? First of all, let's tap into the energy of who was this that we're speaking about. The hangman, Pisces energy, is it a masculine or a feminine? We'll go based off of what card shows up. Five of wands, okay? So they're trying to hide their, they're hiding. Because again, I said petty theft. This is someone who like, okay, so let's, the star, Aquarius energy. Again, it's not showing whether it's masculine or feminine. Very hidden. So this could be as petty as having a sibling or having a person in your life, right? I said sibling though, because it feels like that type of energy where you possibly live in the home together, they do things like they hide your things, right? They hide your shoes or something of yours. Petty stuff like that. Or they use your products, right? Maybe without asking. Let's say this is someone that you told, okay, yes, you can use blah, 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 but let me know first. But they don't. It's like sometimes they sneak into your room and they do stuff, that type of energy. Like, and you've caught them. That's the thing, you've caught them. So this is not going to resonate with everyone. And it doesn't have to be, like I said, a sibling. This could be anyone in your life where you have some sort of connection with them, but within the connection, it's someone they try to steal from you. Even if it's your emotional well-being, right? Let's say you're a happy person. This is someone who kind of comes in and they they want to like toss their burdens on you. Like tell you all of their problems so that you can make them feel better because you're a happy person. So they want your happy energy from you. That turned over so weird. Look at that. This turned over, but then there's a gap, and then this is here. Knight of Cups. So they're trying to come in with an emotional offer, but there's something back here. 
right? Again, some sort of wounding. Ah, okay, okay, okay. This person, what they do, they come in and they, this is gaslighting, right? They come in, they gas you up, they give you some sort of emotional offer, right? But then they pull on your energy way more than what it is that they come in offering you. Because they're really just coming in to dump on you. Ugh. Okay? So now the pettiness could be where, again, petty offers. Or this is someone, they're in a number of, because the five of wands is here, the ten of swords is here, the nine of wands is here. It just feels like a lot of congestion, right? So this feels like someone who has a lot of traffic in their life, like literally. They meet with a lot of people. Um, so... Again, it's like they come in so you could kind of like clear their day for them. They use you like Tylenol, right? They they have they keep a lot of traffic in their life and it's whether this it's personal or maybe it's work related maybe they work on a job where they they again a lot of traffic whatever that means for your reality or their reality the point of the matter whatever stresses they have whatever is going on with them they're coming on over you know with a box of pizza and ready to just let it all out on you so that you can relieve them of their stress like literally it doesn't even have to be that they're coming to you for sex they're coming to you so that you can make them feel better about themselves about their life about their day i don't know if this is something that's happening every single day but like i said it's just like a lot of repetition within the cards within the like over and over again right this is someone who may actually need like personal assistance like help they need to be seen right a head doctor but in a way where they get the one-on-one -on -one time that they seem to be wanting from you right or take it however the rule fits it's like this offer that they bring to you this box of pizza this whatever they bring over in order for you to again clear their their day their mental calendar for them um of stresses this offer needs to actually actually be money like tangible money that they go and they pay someone for the one-on-one -on -one time that they clearly are looking for they're wanting personal attention you're not even their person see this is what I'm saying and even if you were their person, this would be a very draining relationship because this person would then be using their significant other as some sort of emotional uh, a sponge for them.
Okay, so what else? Judgment. Eight of Swords. They need to focus on themselves. They need to they need to get the help that they actually need. They're seeking help. See, now this is looking like this person is going to a number of persons doing this. This box of pizza may be being passed around to all kinds of different let's say these are friendships. This is someone who is like wrecking their friendships in their life because they're not again getting the mental health the 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 medical help that they may need ain't nothing wrong with needing real help if you need it you need it see y'all don't like when it gets a little it it, it, it hits home right because it's real i keep telling you folks You need to be in a room where you're sitting on that chair and you can just express yourself to this non-biased person and you pay them your money and they pay you back within the assistance that you need and you get the relaxation that you need and the ambience that you're looking for and then you can head on home and you can get better and then your relationships will become less toxic and less tumultuous because you're not using people in your life as some sort of security blanket for you. Are you trying to create real friendships in your life or are you just, fuck it, fuck all of y'all, I'm just using y'all. Which one is it? See, be clear about what this shit is that you're doing. See, aren't you speaking for me? This ain't just one person. But this is. Got an empress at the bottom of the deck. King of Cups, Strength. Seven of Cups, Page of Pentacles. See, now, I don't know if this is connected to this. This is someone receiving some sort of emotional strength from a King of Cups energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Then we also have Leo energy here. We also have Capricorn, Virgo energy here. See, I don't know if this is a child. It's not. See, that's the thing. This is not a child. This is how this person be. They. This is a tantrum. This is a grown person that throws tantrums. And it looks like they run to some king of cups energy for emotional support. But this person is just an enabler to them because they go to this person to throw these tantrums this is like if you have a child and they run to their mother for like you know to nestle themselves into their bosom but this is not a child we have capricorn energy i think i already said that attention seeking if that's what you want to be right be that but that's what you could get called out as what else i could call it what else could i name this trying to steal attention okay so what's the advice here because let's not forget we got the judgment here. The advice here is to go get some goddamn help. 
before you spiritually blind yourself. You know how many spells you've been speaking over yourself? And I'm not talking about me. The reader is not talking about the reader right now. King of... <laughs> King. Page of Wands. A step in a different direction thank God oh, my God baby Jeez. I feel like this was a major ego death and it was necessary clarify the devil I saw eight of wands. Is the devil on the way now? God damn. Is this the devil on the way? This could be Capricorn energy. What's the significance with the Capricorn energy? Sex. So this person has two persons, could be more, I don't know, but two persons are showing up here. There's a king of cups here that they run to, they throw emotional tantrums. This person that I'm tapping in with, they could either be a Leo or they could be a Capricorn. It could be the Capricorn or the Leo that's doing these things and they run to a king of cups energy. to again throw tantrums and like get fucked and then they feel better that's that makes them feel better so when they're un okay when they're unable to get the attention from you know whatever set of friends that they have or let's say that doesn't satiate them that's not enough um, I need a higher dosage then they go over, they run over to the King of Cups and throw their little tantrums and they get treated sweet and nice and they get, you know, they get their sex and what's not. So now they're feeling better. That's their medicine. Rinse and repeat. That's the truth. This is done. Six of Cups, Queen of Wands. This could be some people that you're connected to. Or, yeah, like, you know, we have different friendships. We have different connections. We have different per persons that are connected. Or this could be you, right? Whatever. But it's like, it's been ongoing. It's been a long time. Shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. I don't know. Okay? That's what I see with this. Let's get the shaman. Let's see what... No. You know what? Let's go enchanted map. No. Let's go guardian angel messages. See? See what I mean? The energy that I'm in, it's like they don't wait around. This is someone that lacks patience. They don't allow something to like really simmer and complete and get done, right? If this is someone like they're cooking a meal for you, some of the some some parts of the food is gonna be undercooked. Or something will be too salty, something will be under season, and it's because they're not taking the time to really put care and concern into each individual portion of the meal. 
somehow they're always in a rush no matter what like they wake up in a rush like as soon as the alarm goes off right whatever alarm they set as soon as the alarm goes off it's like they're already late they're already late and so their entire day is somehow set back but it hasn't even started yet impatience like make the decision make the choice see it through see it all the way through see where it takes you who you meet what no it's just like no this no okay no do that no do that that damn baby balance this person lacks balance they need balance that's a part of the guidance and patience it's like everything in your life is like it's that kind of thing spiritually imagine it spiritually right everything in your life kind of like hanging on a thread because it's almost out of time Until what? I, I don't know. Like, and that's the thing. They don't know. They're, they're in a rush to get where they don't know. But it's like, I got to hurry up and get there. <laughs> and they live their life like this. Let me pause. Honestly, for some of you, this be the kind of friend, friend, right? If you don't make this person a lover in your life, this is someone that you have as a friend. This is the type of person that you could really love for life, right? And I say that because when it comes to relationships, we kind of get our feelings really heavily involved because of expectations that we place on pe persons, right? When it comes to our heart, that's different. But in terms of friendship, where there's doors and certain boundaries, right, of what can occur and what can't occur because, you know, personal space, I don't know. But the point is, when you know who your friend is or your person is, right, again, platonically, and you can understand, okay, this is their triggers, this is their this and that, and you, you could maneuver around that. You kind of end up just laughing at this kind of stuff because, like, that's a part of who they are as a person, right? <laughs> so, it's not really... Like, maybe in the beginning, like, let's say you met this person in the beginning, you, you really kind of clashed, right? But as time went on, it's like, when you learn a person, and you understand who they are, you understand how they work, you understand their weaknesses, their strengths, their love language, and they understand yours, once, you know, like I said, this person needs freaking help, once they get they goddamn help, it's like, all right, let's go do something. Let's go be crazy somewhere together. But coming in to bring all your dump of this and that and just pull and drain and look at me, look at me. Hey, <laughs> ain't no way. Ain't no way, baby. And you know what? I'm going to take it further. If you got somebody in your life, right? Because I said, this is someone who be running off to King of Cups energy to throw their little tantrum and get their little loving, right? If you got that in your life and they cool with that, y'all do y'all thing. 
but you let that be your dosage of medicine. That shit right there. Don't be doing that. Plus, you want to be in other people's lives causing calamity because you need more, more, more. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Go run, get that dick. And that, you know, go cry on his shoulder or her, whatever. Whoever shoulder this is. Whoever's dick, whoever, right? Because this, this is a king of cups. I'm going to take it as what I see. Because y'all be hiding in energies and hiding in different genders and this and that. That's a man. Let that be your medicine and that's since that's what you want. But all this other stuff, baby, if you ain't coughing up some real money, ain't nobody gonna just be paying you a whole bunch of attention. You gonna wait your turn just like everyone else has to. Or go get what you be getting. You know where to go. Seven of Swords. Do we already have that out here? Let me see what it looks like on this. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is a caution. What is the caution about? But this is coming in from the 5D. So this is like your spirit team. Again, you are really being guided to balance yourself. I don't know what this means for your life. I'm giving you the messages as I receive them. But it's a caution because whatever this is you're doing, like I said, this is bringing about some sort of disruption. But keep in mind, in your reality, Whoever is actually resonating with this message. It won't be everyone. So whoever is resonating, you're needing to balance yourself. This is a caution from the higher realm. Because whatever these things are that you're doing, I do not know what it may affect in your life. But it would be physical. I don't know what this is. This has something to do with addiction. Is this narrative shifting? I don't even know if this is the same person. This may be. I keep looking back at this Ace of Swords. This may be some sort of addiction. Someone may actually be addicted to sex and they hide it. They hide it very well. They over inflate emotions to make that the star, right? To make that the like what you see firsthand but truly they love sex okay they travel far and wide for sex but they act prudish right they act a bit like that but they're not that type of person Like, they try to be a bit modest within their clothing. I don't know. Because, like, look how she's so covered. But it's, it's a different. It's different, baby. That's just a cover-up. So, so what are we saying? balance 
This is temperance. This is Sagittarius energy. This is Archangel Michael. So, your warrior spirit. So it's about a, a, a battle. It's about breaking generational curses. This is something that's been going on in your family, in your generation for a very long time. But what is this that we're tapping into? Maybe mental health or addiction. Sex, sex addicts. Okay. The star. Transformation. The tower. Aquarius. Scorpio energy. Even just from the way, like the imagery. Like right now, everything is just very sexual now. Because that's the energy that they desire. So when I said this person, see, okay, now I don't know if this these are the same persons. Because again. Let's say this is a different narrative. This, this is now someone, I said they kind of go around to others like looking for some sort of emotional support, right? They, they have friends in their life just so they can kind of like dump their, their thoughts and feelings and how their day, you know, was so shitty, that type of stuff, that type of person. But this narrative here is different. This might be a different energy we're tapping into. This feels like this is someone. They go around for the same kind of reasons. But what makes them feel better is the sex. I said that I'm tapping in with someone who may have some sort of sex addiction. This could be male or female. So that's what it is that they go around for because that's what is their medicine. So that person would not just be going to this King of Cups energy. That person would be going to, like I said, a number of persons. They feel as though like that's how they transform. They feel as though that's how they reboot and get energy, right? Because, you know, you release endorphins and sex is pleasurable but then you're also taking on whatever is going on with that person because this isn't conscious this isn't conscious love and conscious sex this is someone who is just looking for again this taps me into a fix right a fixed type of energy they just need something to take off the edge right i need something to take the edge off of the day and and the stress and you know all these things I've gone through or I'm going through and I can't figure it out and so I just need to go and okay call somebody this is someone who has like a list in their phone that they kind of just scroll through any mini miny ho right and who's available what's available what flavor am I looking for right now type of deal to make me feel better like so like i said this is someone who uses energy like tylenol so this is someone they use persons right they use the energy of persons in their life whether it be through emotional right absorbing they want you to make them feel better through talking 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 talk or you know boost their self-esteem for them um and confidence or they they're looking for sex right but again it's like all these different energies and these different persons, but they're in 
medicine form, pill form, liquid form, and it's in a cabinet. You open the cabinet and, you, you know, they choose and what do I need to pop tonight, drink tonight, and jack tonight, however, smoke tonight, well, however they're getting it in, okay? It's your energy. This feels like those persons in one of my readings. I said how someone passed away in a family and that there were persons within the family bloodline that inherited some property and that the property had a haunted house on, on the property and that there were like bodies buried in the backyard, animals, persons, God knows what, right? And that you know, different way, type of fetishes that the person may have had who lived there. This person may be related to that energy that we tapped in there because that just came to my mind. This may be the person's living in that home. And they don't mind none of the stuff that's going on that I just described with that home because you know what? They got their own boxes and shit to bury in the backyard. This may even be connected to the persons who I said they have like creepy doll collections because I just said now this set of persons, they have a cabinet of energies, right? They, they treat you like freaking drugs, right? They get high off of person's energies and they siphon it through sex. That's sitting on top of the, the Knight of Wands, the Devil, the Six of Swords. They travel to do this. Queen of Air. Ace of air. Page of water. Page of cups. So now someone wants to make some sort of offer. What's this about? That's not an offer. I said page. What's the page of cups about? What's the page of cups about? Five of water. This is a baby. I'm seeing milk on the ground with the page of cups. This is a baby. This is someone who may, and don't take this if it doesn't resonate for you. This is someone who may be finding out that they're pregnant, but they did not want to be. Or something disappointing happened with a child. This is the energy of someone finding out that someone tried to hurt their child. These these stupid ass people. Fuck y'all. Anything to do with kids, y'all could fuck off. Honestly. Honestly, to be honest, I ain't talking about kids with y'all. Fuck y'all. Y'all stupid ass people. Let's see if anything else, Father, before we close out. Who 
Queen of Earth, Queen of Pentacles. What is it about this Queen of Pentacles? Six of Pentacles, someone that owes you money. What about them owing you money? I don't know if that was the King of Swords just now, but he slipped right back on in the deck, baby. He said, nah, nah, nah. You ain't getting me involved in this. So let's find out. Six of Air, the Moon. Eight of Fire, Eight of Wands. Bottom of the deck, the Ten of Wands. So someone's stressed out because they owe you money it's like they're trying to move away from the fact that they owe you money they know that they owe you money this is the energy of someone who comes to you and they kind of like they borrow money from you and then they turn around and yeah they have all the excuses in the world and then they kind of like try to hope that time will pass and that, you know, it'll just be this thing that isn't spoken of. Or let's say they do, this is someone, they try to pay you back silently. So let's say they borrow or they take or they get however, whatever the adjective needs to be, right? They get the money from you. And then they turn around and they try to do things in order to pay you back rather than pay you back with the money that they got from you so let's say as simple as let's say as simple as five dollars you lend someone five dollars and the stipulation is you get the five back so you lend them the five but then they turn around and they do stuff like open the door for you and that's the payment they like they give you like a a look like this is it here right like this is the five them opening the door and so you walk through the door and like you looking around like is this where you wanted to give me the five like you you, you know what i'm saying like you wanted to do it in here what's going on but they transmuted <laughs> okay they an alchemist baby they transmuted the five right into them opening the door and then boom they paid you back that type of person What the hell is going on? What about this? Seven of Earth. They looking around like... It's like they out there staring at trees. Waiting on the money to grow on the tree. To come give it to you. That ain't even his tree. The angel in the corner, right? Like, what's going on? I don't know who these messages are for. We got 10 of cups, but I hope that you got what you needed. <laughs> okay? That was kind of interesting. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.